what's going on stackers so in this video i'm going to show you how i came up with the concept for my best selling valentine's day notebook now if you're new here my name's paddy and every single day i like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop so go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos also there's a link down in the description below if you click that you'll go through to my low content book publishing course this is printing profits this will take you step by step on everything you need to know so you can start making passive income with amazon and low content books so go through and check that out so my best selling valentine's day notebook I'm going to show you how I come up with the concept, but first, let's see how many units of my best seller I actually sold. So let's go over to here. This is my KDP back office. All I've gone to is month to date, and then sorted by units sold. And as we can see, I've sold 498 units of one book. And my second best seller, I've sold 229 units, and that's a Valentine's Day notebook as well. Now, bear in mind, this is only sales for this month. As we can see, we are on current month. So, these books, my Valentine's Day notebooks, now, even though I got Valentine's Day, the keyword in the title, these books are still selling copies even though it's not valentine's day now i sold a lot of these because they were ranked really high in the bookstore this top one at its best time it was ranked around 2000th place in the whole bookstore and it was bringing me in it was something like 48 units a day was being sold at its height which was awesome but anyway you're interested in how did i find the concept for this book well it was pretty simple i just used pinterest that is it pinterest is like a gold mine when it comes to quotes funny sayings and everything for your low content books even for merch and etsy so if you want a video a tutorial on how i use pinterest or me using pinterest for research then leave a comment down below saying pinterest so all i did was come here to pinterest i do have an account and then i started putting in keywords so i just put valentine's day and then i had a look at just valentine's day images on here to see if there was anything that stood out i had a little look seeing if i could find something kept looking and then i'd put in a different keyword like valentine's day cards let that load up and i had a little look if i saw anything that i liked like this one's pretty good just open that in a new tab like that and then i'll just keep going through finding really good quotes now you want to find when it comes to doing your research like this you want to find a quote a saying a phrase that pulls an emotion out of you or out of someone else that could be laughter you know if something really makes me laugh so if i found a quote a phrase a saying that really makes me laugh then chances are someone else is gonna really laugh from that as well and it would work really well on a notebook like this one this is actually pretty good for a valentine's day notebook i know it's a little bit late now you can't really do that but this is just an example so you're my favorite cardio workout that's pretty good so you could use this phrase this saying put that onto a notebook completely redesign it make it unique because that's another thing people like uniqueness they like novelty items 
So if you have a notebook, a journal, or something like that, that is really unique, and you can't find anywhere else because it's really unique and novelty, then the chances are someone will buy that as an impulse buy. So this is a good one as well. I would open that up in a new tab. And I'll just keep doing this. I'll go back to the top after I've searched here, put in something else, maybe funny Valentine's Day cards, Valentine's Day quotes, sayings, phrases, um, Valentine's Day humour. Just keep going through, doing the research, finding these really funny phrases or just any phrase that pulls an emotion. Whether that emotion is laughter, sadness, or if you find something that someone would be passionate about. You know, people are passionate about hobbies, religion, sports, animals, pets. These are real passionate interests. And when you have a notebook or a journal or any kind of book which is round and a round a passion and pulls an emotion, then there's a good chance you're going to sell that. So remember that. But this is what I did to find that bestseller that sold has sold almost 500 copies this month. It's just research and finding unique sayings or unique things that people haven't really seen on a notebook. And that is the secret. That's how I found it. Now, over the next few weeks, I have got some cool stuff lined up. So I am going to start doing research bundles. So what I'm doing right now, showing you like a little bit of research using Pinterest, I will be doing this and turning it into a guide which you can purchase. Or if you're part of the Stackers in a Circle, the link is down there in the description below. If you're part of the Inner Circle, then you can get this for free. Because every week I'm going to give five copies away. So this is the Done For You Research Bundle. So... If we go to here, this bundle will include two niches and 20 quotes, 20 quote examples, 10 per niche. So this is done for you research. So if you're interested in trying to get this for free, come and join the Stackers in a Circle because I am giving away those five copies. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go and hit subscribe. And hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.